As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by a series of cones and markers. And it just so happens that the markers that I've laid out lay out the actual dimensions of the tennis courts, or more specifically, the space between the baseline and the service line. If you're like me and you don't have access to a tennis court at the moment, then you can quite simply mark the area out that we're going to use for these agility-based intervals. The grid itself is 8.2 meters by 5.5 meters. Now, if you don't have access to any form of, of tape measure or meter rule, then you can quite simply mark it out with steps. It's not as accurate, but it's gonna be close enough for what we're trying to do here. For me, taking relatively small to average steps, this width here is going to be around about seven steps, whereas the represented baseline behind me is currently 11 steps. The wide V-drill is slightly different to the original V-drill. As you'll see, I've placed blue cones this time on both sides along the inner tram line in the middle of both the baseline and the service box. These are going to mark where I'm going to run to from my starting position. Similar to the original V-drill, I'm gonna start behind the center marker and I'm going to go to the left first. Now, because these change of direction patterns are a little bit wider, they're not quite as sharp as the original V-drill, I'm going to initiate this with a split and then a crossover. A crossover step to the front is gonna give me the biggest ground coverage. I'm gonna follow the crossover with a shuffle. So from the start position, I'm going to cross over, shuffle, lunge and touch. Cross over, shuffle and back to the center marker. From here, I'm then gonna to go to the right. Crossover, shuffle, lunge and touch. Crossover, shuffle and behind the line. The purpose of this drill, once again, is to perform as many repetitions to the left and the right in the allotted time frame. One repetition is counted each time you touch either the left or the right marker. 